R-squared is one of the modern portfolio theory statistics reported by Morningstar. R-squared, along with the other amputee statistics, can help investors assess the risk return profile of investments. You can find them in the risk section of a fund or ETF's Morningstar report on morningstar.ca. R-squared, together with alpha and beta, provide a snapshot of a fund's returns versus the return of a benchmark index. Without getting into the math, R-squared measures the strength of the relationship between a fund's performance and a benchmark's performance. Specifically, the degree to which a fund's performance can be explained by the performance of the benchmark. A higher R-squared value indicates a higher correlation or relationship between a fund's performance and the benchmarks, whereas a lower R-squared value indicates that a fund's performance hasn't behaved like the benchmarks. R-squared is expressed as a percentage and ranges from 0% or no correlation to 100% or perfect correlation, where a fund's performance has moved in lockstep with the benchmarks. R-squared can help to gauge the relevance of the benchmark used to calculate alpha and beta. Other MPT statistics, which are relative measures that are only useful when they're calculated using a relevant benchmark. Let's take a look at a few examples. First, the Capital Group Global Equity Fund Series D, which has a three-year R-squared value of 93.89. This high R-squared value indicates that the benchmark is comparable, the fund's returns have a high degree of correlation with the benchmarks, and that its alpha and beta values are likely to be meaningful and could be used to evaluate the manager's performance. The three-year R-squared for the BMO Growth Opportunities Fund is low at 17.95, which indicates that this fund's performance bears little relation to the benchmarks, and its alpha and beta values likely shouldn't be used to evaluate the manager's performance. The closer R-squared is to 100, the greater the likelihood that a fund's return could be replicated by a benchmark, and therefore inexpensively by a fund that tracks a benchmark, as we see with the TD Canadian Bond Index Fund, which has an R-squared value of 99.9. Used together, R-squared, alpha, and beta can help to present a thorough picture of the performance of a fund manager. It's important to remember, though, that MPT statistics shine a light on one type of risk, market risk, and do not measure a fund's total risk. It's also important to remember that they focus on specific and relatively short time periods. For Morningstar, I'm Wendy Stein.